Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hayes, Greg Fritz coming to you from Collision Hub, working for Gillette down here today, as I always do. We're getting ready to do some measuring on this car for the Collision Hub, and uh, I wanted to do a little video to show you how we set up the nausea rail uh, calibration. So, because a lot of people have questions on that, and they, they call me all the time. So, I'm going to show you the five steps that I do. So, actually, it could be six. Step one, we're going to park the gazelle under the car. Okay, step two, we're going to park the notch ahead so the laser is right over the center support, the rear support bar. Step three, Move the head so it's at 90 degrees perpendicular to the bar. Step four, loosen these knurled screws. And make sure our pins are floating. Step five, we come up to the nose so it just touches. We're taking the air, out, the air gap out, okay? Step six, tighten the screws on the pins. After that, we just park the, the measuring head in the back, put the probe, 50 millimeter probe into the socket, hold it securely, push the power button on and wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. We're at the computer and connect to Bluetooth. Okay, so now that we have our calibration set up, we need need to finish connecting the Bluetooth. So I come over to the computer, click on the Bluetooth icon. It comes up, I come over to the measuring head. I move it slightly down the rail so it can count some of the holes and it's ready to go. As you can see on the screen, ready to measure. Okay, that's how you do the calibration setup for the Nausea Gazelle if you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share these videos, spread the word around. Greg Fritz signing out.